Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm bringing a segment which is, generally speaking, always on my podcast, the HCast, to the main channel because, unfortunately, we didn't cover it. But yeah, you read the title, and here's the segment. So, so what kind of dumb shit did Grace say this week? It's one of the greatest things I ever saw. I loved it. <laughs> Massive shout out to uh, Tom Connors for creating that and culture for putting together the whole the the video. I love that. I absolutely love it. It's so funny. Anyway, what are we talking about? And I, and I am really sad that I couldn't do this over on uh, the podcast this week. If you don't know what it is, I run a podcast twice a week. Uh, you can find it linked down below the second channel, Mistakes Reviews Live Archives. Please do hit subscribe. It's comedy gold. There's a lot of good stuff on there. But basically, uh, her reaction, her reaction, goodness me, goodness me, boy howdy, it was quite something, ladies and gents. She's not the, uh, she's not the brightest individual, so I thought we would take a look at this together. It's, it's very contradictory, um, and, and I don't, I really don't understand how she doesn't have more dislikes. I mean, if you look at it, I think she got... Uh, on on another uh, on the browser that I have the plugin activated, I think she's got like 160 dislikes. Like, listen to this. Looks ridiculous, but uh, I don't know. It looked the other last one was such a garbledy gook story. You were like, I mean, do these things really even have a story? I think they should focus less on the story. To be honest with you, they keep coming up with these big scientific or mythology uh, explanations, and everyone's like, you don't need to work that hard to give us a reason for why these two are gonna duke it out. Let's just see them duke it out. So, right, right. So let's break that down. Looks ridiculous. The last one was such a garbledy gook story. Do they even have a story? Do they need a story? People don't want a story. Yes, they do. What are you talking about? You, you, <laughs> oh my god, woman. Ah, uh, you infuriate me so very much. I don't understand what any of this just was that you said. You, you're talking about... You're criticizing it for not having a story. Right, you said, oh, it looks ridiculous. The last one... The last one didn't have a story. This one looks... No, the last one had a had a nonsense story, but this one looks ridiculous, but do they need a story? No, they don't. And people don't actually want a story? Yes. Yes, they actually do. People really quite like the mythology behind these things. So let's just hear that one more time. Looks ridiculous, but uh, I don't know. It looked, the other last one was such a garbledy gook story. You were like, I mean, do these things really even have a story? I think they should focus less on the story, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's what I want in my MonsterVerse. Less story. Just, I just want two hours of them beating each other up. No, I don't. Why was God? This is the. This is coming from the woman that claimed Godzilla minus one flopped, even though it pound for pound, literally in in some instances, dollar for dollar, it made the most. Some of the the most financial profit of, uh, well, not any film, but most Disney films. It last year, it made the most financial profit of them, and it's insane. And you and you and you slammed that. That one had a great story. Why did it do so well? Because it had a great story. Why do people love it? Because it has a great story. This bloody woman, God, man alive. To do, they keep coming up with these big scientific or mythology uh, explanations, and everyone's like, "You don't need to work that hard to give us a reason for why these two are gonna duke it out. Let's just." Yeah, that's. I just. That's what I want. I just want dumb. Monsters. No. I want... I actually want the Monsterverse to be more serious. I really enjoyed 2014's Godzilla because it was serious. I enjoyed King of the Monsters because it had a serious tone. There was some silly dumb stuff, but it wasn't as silly as this. See them duke it out. So, uh, that would be my note to the... Please, no one at Legendary listen to this woman that very clearly, I would imagine, smells a bit like urine. Godzilla franchise. Godzilla and Kong franchise. What would you... What would you tell them if you if you were going to give them any advice? Don't take any advice from you. That would be that'd be my advice. What are, what are people saying down below? God damn, where are the comments? Here we go. Um, looks ridiculous. Yeah. Hmm. 
My god, there's a lot of simps for Grace. You need you need to raise your standards. I mean, it does look ridiculous, but the commentary surrounding why it looks ridiculous and what they should do is absolutely ridiculous. Stop simping for Grace. Raise your standards. My god. Uh, you could simp for anyone in the world and you choose this? If this was a sharing circle. Uh, so, but I mean, it looks okay. It looks all right. I think, you know, I don't think it's going to win over anybody new. You know, I still think Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes looks a little bit stronger, but interestingly... Hands down, I, I like the look of Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes won't beat Godzilla vs. Uh, Godzilla x Kong and New Empire at the box office. It won't. Hands down, promise you it won't. Not as big as this movie. Eh, eh. Uh, you know, in many ways. And big, big at the end of the day might win out when it comes to theatrical. You know, people might say this is the theatrical experience they would prefer, and they'll just wait to stream Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. How do you feel? That's an interesting situation. I can definitely see that happening. This certainly does look like if you're going to see it, you should see it in theaters. All right, so share your thoughts down below. Subscribe today, and of course... That's the breadth of her uh, fucking intellectual input. I, I've watched some of the reaction. She's like, huh, he's got an inf like, yeah, it, it does look like an Infinity Gauntlet. It is quite funny. Uh, but this nonsense. Oh, it looks like gobbledygook story. Oh my God, shut up, woman. Um, and obviously, you know, people on Twitter are like, you know, rinsing her for this as well, as they should, obviously. Um, uh, very, very much so, actually. So here you have it. Oh my God, where's dark mode? God. Follow me over on Twitter, at Mr. H Reviews. I clearly don't have dark mode activated on this one. I'm like, God, Grace Randolph truly is an imbecile, complains that it looks ridiculous, the last one didn't have a story, proceeds to uh, proclaim that they shouldn't have stories. What? Uh, this is Dangerville, friend of the channel. Heavy Monsterverse content. So let's see what they say, because obviously all of their fans will be Monsterverse fans, right? Is she actually serious? That's hilarious. I've never heard of this person. Now I'm mad at you. <laughs> the first trailer had me concerned. This trailer had me in tears of joy. I'm ignoring all the negative feedback. This is out and out kaiju chaos. And exactly what we needed. Let her have her opinion. I'll be in the cinema like a child on Christmas Day. There'll be a deep story behind it with Kong. That'll be the very emotional. And I'm confident that the story will make plenty of sense. Not my fault if someone can't catch up. <laughs> Laugh my ass off. This chick's still on the industry. I thought she left. This is true. Loads of people thought she disappeared. The difference between people who are fans versus people who just follow the hype for views. Uh, or spread a rumor from one of her sources that turns out to be a lie. <laughs> uh, oh, someone tagged me. Can't wait to see what my stage reviews us there, but there's... Uh, she gave some flack to minus one, too. Do I need to do... Do I need to add anything? I don't give her any sort of attention anymore. Ugh. So funny. Didn't she complain about the cat suit in the Mario movie and said, well, I guess if you're a furry. Yeah, yes, she did. Ah, uh, super funny. Anyway, there you go. I just thought this would, I, I thought this would make for uh, an interesting, fun video. And just a bit of fun. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, segment, which is normally on my podcast, but making a rare appearance here on the main channel. So, so what kind of dumb shit did Grace say this week? It's one of the greatest things I ever saw. I loved it. <laughs> I love it so much. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hit that bell uh, notification icon. Hit subscribe. Uh, cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now. <laughs>